hello welcome back to my channel many thanks for stopping by it's always a pleasure having your company hope you're all well and I'm just coming on to give you a brief overview how my budgeting went for this month on the third of this month I had some handiwork done at home and that was budgeted for the label was 120 and the bits and pieces from the builders merchants was 18 pounds i bought some speciality caribbean food this morning which came up to 14 pounds so that was nice to have i want to send a big shout out to sam's budgeting corner um i bought some aki today sam <laughs> and I can't wait to cook it up it's absolutely delicious <laughs> anyway so those two were budgeted for and then I uh, as you know I'm paid bi-weekly so on the 7th I had one direct debit I held on to the money for the direct debit um, this paycheck which was coming out on the 18th and that went out so I used the rest of the money for my savings challenges that was left over and then um, on the 21st the second paycheck all my direct debits went out as well and that was from the 21st to the 28th of this month and the balance the remaining monies what I did was I kept a buffer of 50 pounds in my account which I usually do I spent a few pounds over last month but I've replaced it all now so that's all up to date the £50 buffer and I have two direct debits that comes out on the 1st and the 6th of um, every month so that money I have left in there for when those two direct debits come out on the 1st and the 6th of November um, which is £21 two direct debits plus the buffer of £50 which total uh, £71 so that is left in the account there is no more money left in the account and i consider that as a zero base balance so that was done and the remaining money out of everything left me with 150 pounds for my savings challenges and i'm really happy with that i mean that's a lot of money to put aside so i'm really grateful for that now why did I put 14 here didn't need to put 14 there that shouldn't be there should be down there so that's that and then um, the unbudgeting spending was on the fourth ikea i spent 60 pounds with ikea and on the 10th i spent 41 pounds with amazon and on the 15th i spent 86 pounds on some stuff on some tickets for me and my daughter um, to go to a theater for my for my birthday which is December so that's all paid for and done with and then on the 27th I spent 37 pounds with Aliexpress I really want to get back into my crafting now I need some me time I'm not getting enough me time and I'm sort of getting back to a place where I don't want to be you know so I decided to buy some craft supplies that to start my crafting again because it really made me happy it kept my brain occupied I don't want to spend every day all day cleaning doing chores and stuff I just want to get back to my crafting so that's what I did for that 
and I was really happy about it. A few months ago I did tell you about me decluttering my craft room and I gave up a lot of my stuff um, to the charity and things because I've ha I had double um, of the same things and what's the point in having doubles of the same things and it became very overwhelming and I didn't want to craft anymore because it was just too much but I'm in a good place now with my crafting and I'm ready to get back to it I've been inspired as well by a lot of um, the craft ladies and gents out there in the community so um, I'm really looking forward to that on the 2nd on the 5th the 6th the 7th and the 8th no spend the 9th 11th 12th 13th and 14th no spend the 16th 17th 18th 19th 20th and 22nd no spend 23rd 24th 25th 26th and 28th no spend and I'm really really chuffed about that so let's see how many days one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one days of no spend so so chuffed about that that is great as a matter of fact I didn't have any money to spend anyway so <laughs> it had to be no spend because there was no money and I wasn't going into any of my savings challenges or anything to interfere with any money now for um, my goals my monthly goals the first one was the handiwork at home that I got done that was done I was really happy about that and also um, I'm continuing my Saggy challenge which um, I'm looking forward to the completion of that one and uh, the third monthly goal was no uh, the new roll the dice which I started that as well and the fourth one was cook and freeze I did enjoy spending a whole day cooking and uh, all different meals and uh, letting them cool and then passing them out and putting them in the freezer and my fifth goal was bills paid on time now i always have to write that down because sometimes i totally totally forget i really do forget um because of the bi-weekly payments um it can get a bit confusing if you want to see how i do my bi-weekly payments um my bi-weekly pay and pay my um, bills then I will link the video in the description below for you to see that it might be in the top right hand corner as well of this video if you want to have a look if I remember to put it there and the uh, looking ahead my Saggy challenge which I'm really really happy that I started and I'm hoping to use that for a European cruise now I've got my heart set on that now I definitely know what this challenge is for it's for my European cruise and the monthly savings goal this month yay I completed my three months challenge and that was great but you know what I, I'm I'm finding that I'm finishing it way before three months because if I double check back when I started it because this will be the second time or third time I've done this I'll check but let's just say the second time so when I start it back it'll be the third time I'm noticing that I'm doing it in less than three months so just to kind of ease up on myself and to be able to have enough money to spread across the rest of my savings challenges I'm gonna try and hit it for three months instead of doing it in the space of eight weeks or something like that you know so i'm gonna sort of like take my time with the three months challenge the next time i go back round with it i really really like this challenge so i'm going to keep on doing it and that's it it, it this is all done my monthly budgeting 
has finished if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell in order to receive notifications as to when I upload my new videos take care of your good selves and I will see you back soon bye for now bye